does a whole song of all the stupid questions that I've asked. Like, you know, was it real marijuana? No, asking me these stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get together with Frank. You have to get together with Frank and do that as a rock opera. It's, look it up. Look it up on YouTube. Just type the actor's name and just like the song or stop asking me these stupid questions. It's just it's a great song to sing. Whenever you go to a con, it's say it louder. It's too loud. No, no, the guy from Back to the Future. Does anyone know the name of the guy who played Big from Back to the Future? What's his name? No idea. Raptor! Can you hear me okay? If. It sounds like I'm turning into a transformer. What's his name? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can tell. What's your name? Tom Wilson, that's it. You got it. You win nothing, but thank you for winning. <laughs> you win being yourself. How does it feel? <laughs> you win Ego Raptor. You win air. Oh, goody. <laughs> I did not sign up for this. <laughs> You know, you know how, you know how in. Do you know how in the Dark Knight when they're Jesus fucking Christ? Do you know how in the Dark Knight when they're like chasing the when the Joker's trying? Move it away from your mouth. When the when. Okay, you know how in the Dark Knight where they're where they're um transferring Harvey Dent and the Joker's like shooting rockets and stuff, and then like the SWAT team guys A aren't shooting at all and B, one of them goes. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> it's like, well then, what did you sign up for? <laughs> I thought I was going to be sitting behind a desk. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to dress up like that. This is wrong, I wanted to work sanitation. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with like Gotham City, you only see it in some state of either chaos, on fire, some natural disaster, and unless you're a banker so being California. robbed, like, the only people who seem to be employed besides the police are the thugs. Like, is this like a temp program? Like, they're all just trying to be aspiring actors during the day, and at night they just sign up to, like, Again, yeah, heist the bank with Mr. Freeze for the evening. He's cool. You'll like him. <laughs> He's a little cold, but... Here, hold on. Can you guys hear me on this mic? Yes! yes. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes! Then I won't say anything too embarrassing. Okay! I have a lot of fun with trying to do that. one dude sitting in Arkham Asylum who the Joker had this great pun off of, and he's trying to take credit for it. And everyone's saying, no, I have to. We were joking and drinking, and I said, just okay, hang him upside down over, like, I don't know, a shark bin. And the Joker totally did that. No, I didn't. No, he stole that from me. Yeah. No, he I didn't, Greg. I didn't lie. I need royalties, dude. Gosh. <laughs> One of those Clarkman diamonds should be mine, and also half of Harley's leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is that everybody that we have in the room that we're gonna have? Okay. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. We've got like five open seats. I don't know where your bo problem is front row. Yeah, I know. One, it's two, like, three. Really three. Three. three for one person. Okay. What about the other two? Mr. Wright. <laughs> if you're waiting for Mr. Wright, you're gonna have a long wait, honey. Yeah, there's so so alone. <laughs> now you're waiting for Mr. Left. Now you've got a left. <laughs> Come play musical chairs with internet people. <laughs> I'll join! The movie. This is an auction for chairs, I love it. Okay. Everybody shut up! No. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much, um... Well, you know who we are, or else you wouldn't be here. This is our farewell tour. We will never be performing again. Bye! Bye. Oh. Oh. That's what the panel is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we're finally uh, putting away our drumsticks, we're unstringing the bass, we're finally releasing the unicorns and all those and all those uh, Arabian <laughs> prostitutes. I blame Yoko, she ruined us. Not yeah. the unicorns, dude! The unicorns are gone. It's, uh, after five albums, after a grand tour of maybe 12 years, and can you basically say that we're the guys who inspired the Rolling Stones? Hey, what gives? I, I didn't get it. Before, before us, they were growing heavy with moss. They were just the Stones. There was no movement at all. It was just Keith Richards and the Stones. I think Keith Richards is growing with moss, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen his face lately? <laughs> okay, so pretty much what this is, uh, I think we could just go ahead just like a straightforward Q&A, because a lot of people have questions! We've only so, had about ten panels like that this weekend, so... Okay, you know what? You you do something. Dance! <laughs> <That's funky> dance. <laughs> <laughs> that is sexy. <laughs>
questions and oh, answers. Oh, good, the Korean Macarena. Why not? <laughs> questions and answers. So, let's go ahead and start with some questions. Raise your hand. We'll Raise pick your you hand. and we'll go from if there. Yes, you can start. Start. Can you tell? Shut start. the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> it's for uh, Eric. Go, Eric. Uh, what is the hardest part whenever you're drawing? Uh, my boner. <laughs> And ink and everything. <laughs> oh, dude. The His oil painting is fantastic. When you say finger paint, it's never on the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of smiley faces, very rarely a frowny face. <laughs> and you know that visual All of Middle Gear Awesome was done that way. Um, what's the hardest part? Uh, battling with deep solemn depression that nothing I ever make is going to be good enough. <laughs> Go be like the answer. I do like your animation style and I know some people go full on detail, some people just go as minimalist with colors as possible. Like when do you decide with a character design, ah, I'm done with this already, let's just animate it anyway. Uh, when I get mad at myself and I want to shoot a part of my body. <laughs> And then I'm like, I think I should probably move on. Let's design the next character. <laughs> because, I mean, it's... You, you are, like, built and conditioned already to work for Pixar. This is great. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that, dude. I couldn't work for a studio. I don't know. It would be soul-crushing. Um, because every artist is a perfectionist, and if you just had all the time in the world, you would put all the time in the world into something, but you just can't. So you just have to decide when it's good enough and move on. We found a way around that. We make films in, like, three days. <laughs> We just decide to not enjoy what we do. <laughs> so, cool. Uh, and a question's here. Yes, yeah, front row. Yeah, what, 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 what inspired you to be a critic? Rather than anything else you could possibly do, why, why oh, what inspired me to be a critic? The fact that I'm a Jay Sherman. <laughs> we like to complain a lot. And we, 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 we like to get paid to be big assholes. <laughs> uh, no, pretty much. You uh, can get paid to do that? <laughs> Dude, what have I been doing my whole life? <laughs> That's much better than dipping my dick in ink. <laughs> That's all Picasso is it? his best stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty much, it just uh, started out as a hobby. I think I always sort of liked uh, Louis Black and his complaining, but I also sort of liked Siskel and Ebert. I was like, if I could combine those together and make a character and get paid for it, that'd be awesome. <laughs> So it, it just sort of went. So, yeah, I, I'll say that's really bad. And I love movies, so, you know, it's fun to uh, bitch and complain about them, of course. Uh, why don't you pick the next one? Uh, yeah, Rob, pick the next one. God. I like it. Who do I hate? Um, you, right there. You, yes. I hate you. We're going to go with that. <laughs> how did you pick your name? Like, how did you get it? Who? My mom. You. Oh, me? Yeah. I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> came to me in a dream. Hey, seriously, I was nine when I came up with the name. And I was really into Jurassic Park, so... God, it's been that long, huh? Um, I, I, yeah, I like dinosaurs. I looked at Lego magazine, unrelated, and uh, I saw an OV raptor, and I was like, I'll make my own raptor. Ego raptor. <laughs> Terrible name, terrible idea, and here I am now. <laughs> uh, Carl, why don't you pick the next one? You got it. Um, striped shirt? It's for the dog. Well, then sit back down, because I chose you. <laughs> I don't ask him. Anyway, um, so what would happen if Chester A. Bomb gets a gender factor? If, uh, if, if, gender, if, if gender Chester A. Bum went through a gender bender, um, being probably took something like this. Who oh my god, it's the greatest of ever here! Who's to say Chester isn't a woman? We've never seen underneath that coat. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we're doing that. Chester that was my past job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get paid for it. Well, no, I did sometimes get paid to keep the coat closed, but, uh, uh, yeah, needless to say, uh, they were confusing times. It's dark times. Uh -huh. uh, Ego, why don't you get the next question? I'm gonna <laughs> Well... I just, I just like the idea that it would kind of be the same character, but as a girl. In my experiences, homeless dudes, they can be pretty funny. Homeless women? No! Horrible people. Friggin' crazy! <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Throw that bottle of urine at the Taurus, he won't mind. 